All right, everyone, how do we convert between kilopascals, which is kPa, and pounds per square inch, which is psi? So two units of pressure, what if we wanna go from one to the other? Let's look at this first question here, where it says convert 122 kPa to psi. So if we have 122 kilopascals, and we wanna convert that to so many pounds per square inch, or PSI, how would we do that? Well, we're gonna multiply by a conversion factor, and that conversion factor is a fraction which relates these two units to each other. Since we're starting with KPA, that is gonna be the unit on the bottom of our conversion factor, and since we're going to PSI, that is gonna be the unit on top. So what is the relationship between KPA and PSI? Well, 101.325 KPA is equal to 14.7 PSI. So we'll put those numbers in with their respective units. So on the bottom, we'll have 101.325 KPA, and on top, we'll have 14.7. So now our problem is set up. Let's look at our units first. We should see that KPA is on top to start and on bottom of our conversion factor. So they will cancel out and we will be left with the unit of PSI. Okay, now we can plug this in our calculator and do the math. We're gonna start with 122 and we're going to multiply by our conversion factor, which is a fraction, so we'll multiply by the top and divide by the bottom. So we will multiply by 14.7 and then divide by 101.325. Hit enter and our calculator gives us 17.699 with a couple other decimal places past that. Let's round to three significant figures, so that would give us 17.7. Okay, next problem, let's look at what is 35.0 PSI in KPA? So this time we're starting with 35.0 PSI, and we wanna turn that into so many KPA. We're gonna, again, multiply by a conversion factor, and it's gonna look just like the one above, but it will be flipped. It will be the reciprocal. We'll have PSI on the bottom and KPA on top, because we want our units to cancel out, and we're gonna use that same relationship up here, except, again, this will be flipped. We'll have 14.7 PSI on the bottom, and 101.325 KPA on top. And again, we're doing this so that PSI cancels, and this time we'll be left with KPA. So now we can plug this in our calculator. We are going to start with 35.0, multiply by the top, divide by the bottom. So we're gonna multiply by 101.325, divide by 14.7, hit equals, and we get 241.25. Let's round that to 241. All right, there you have it, how to convert between kilopascals and pounds per square inch. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.